Tell, can you explain the difference between internally versus externally balanced? Well, they have weights on the crankshaft, weights on the arm right balancer. Okay. And weights on the flywheel. Okay. Counterweights. And so some of these crankshafts we have here, like that one I'm saying, with all the big counterweights on it. Yep. You don't need those weights on the flywheel and on the arm right balancer. Okay. It'd be internally balanced. And so then the weights on these expensive crankshafts we have, like that one sitting over here, with the big weights in it, keeps that crankshaft from wobbling in the middle because it has the weights there. So it's really important to have it. But for a streetcar, internally and externally balanced is all the same. It's okay. Oh, I see. And just don't be trying to drive an externally balanced motor. I wouldn't agree with that. And trying to drive it 8,000 RPMs. Okay, so it's really, it comes down to, you want it internally balanced if you're going to be racing or very high RPM. Yes, that's right. But if you're cruising around, just cruise around doesn't externally make... balanced, that's fine. I see. We externally balance them all the time. Right, okay. That's what we do several, all the time, every, all the time we do. But I've also seen you guys internally balance. Internally balance, too, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Some Great. of our stroker motors, we have some 455 Pontiacs and some of those are stroker kits in them and stuff. And, and we ex internally balance all those.